What is going on everybody, Jamesy here, back for another part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This time we'll be starting a DLC band of bastards. So we start that by talking to Sir Radzik. I believe. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Father, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. I thought since we drove Toth out of the province, things would be better. I mean that the roads would be safer and so on, and, um... Well, that's not entirely the case. Ah, the naivety of youth. Driving him out of the province was only the start. He left a lot of cutthroats behind, and they'll be sticking to their trade. What's more, as long as there's a war going on, problems like this will keep coming up. Well, what can we do about it? Not an awful lot, unfortunately. My garrison is a shamble these days. I lost most of my men in Skalitz, and what I'm left with after Pribislavitz is hardly enough even to guard Pigstein. Let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. I simply don't have the men. Uh-huh. I understand. That is, I didn't have the men. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more... respectable band? You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. But actually my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature. You see, Kuno owes me a favour, so he'll serve me free of charge. So, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. I told Kuno I'd send him a guide, but really what I need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men. Someone reliable, and I'd say you fit the part. Go and report to him at his encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too disorderly. Oh, great. Who is this Sir Kuno of Rickwald? He's the last baron of the house of Rickwald, which became impoverished. So he took to the mercenary trade, like many poor noblemen do. Unless they become robbers. Which often isn't all that different. He's certainly an entertaining companion, but as a mercenary? Well, let's just say he has his own particular approach to certain matters. That well, sounds a little worrying. Oh, it's nothing too bad. Just that now and again he needs reminding not to step over the line. How is he indebted to you? I did him quite a big service, actually. I saved him from the hangman. Oh, that sounds like quite a story. How did it happen? Mm. You should ask him. You'll be spending quite a while riding together, so it'll help pass the time. But one thing I can tell you, he seems to have taken inspiration from me. A lot of his men had their own encounters with the Executioner, too. Let's do it. All right. I'll go and report to him. Excellent. He set up camp between Ratai and Ledechko. It's a good base for covering the province. Good luck, Henry. And watch out for yourself. I will, sir. Thanks. Goodbye. A band of bastards. Show me what you've got to conceal. Really? What's going on? For security. I'm here on him. Yeah. Well, let's carry on, shall we? Yeah. Well, let's have a look at the quest. Go to Kuno's encampment. Mm -hmm. So if we fast travel to the mill,
It always makes things life. It always makes things easier. Just saves me a minute. That's all, really. Before we do do anything. to dismount the horse, can you do that? Let's have something to eat. That's a good question, do I have anything to sell? Not really. Oh wait, hang on. Fuck me, didn't even realise. Where is the mirror? Oh, where's he gone? Yeah, we'll just sell a load of shit to him. God be with you. I've got some goods here. All right. See you later. I'm gonna haggle. I want, I want at least four thousand for that. About the... Well, satisfied. That's better. Finally. See, I just earned an extra 500 out of that. Don't let anyone take the piss, guys. Hackler. Alright, let's go find these band of bastards. So they should just be up ahead. was a lot closer than this, apparently not. There you go. Oh. I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for a Sukuno. Sukuno? Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? Is he mute? <laughs> you won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, so Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. Hmm, I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No. More like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. I'll introduce you to the other fellas and the chief. <laughs> These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. 
Don't get on the wrong side of them, though, when their blood is up. So, it ain't a pretty sight. Oh, great. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir, ah. sir, this is Henry from Co, from Lord Cobola. Ah, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way around these parts. We'll leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey, where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. <laughs> Get your ass moving. Snot nosed brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit, and they thank you with back to them. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right. And as I said to Radzig. I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. <laughs> sure. Herman, Harold. No problem, Chief. badly at all I must say you can ride with us all right good thanks don't thank me yet you don't know what you're letting yourself in for <laughs> should we ride out I we ought to set out on patrol about now hope you've got your kit ready and whatnot I'd like to head to the north is there anything interesting that way North of here, uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way, and Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. I feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go. Sure. Chief. Cause baby, we got bad blood. Oh, okay. It's just all I make. Out my band of bastards.
but well, this we didn't have to ride with them and we'll be riding forever and they're riding extremely slow like when you have to follow those NPCs and it just takes forever do I not have any marigold concoctions? concoctions? it's fine What a fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this, Yon? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills, rising, purdly, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below, spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall and erect. Aye, it reminds me of that day. That day, where the two of us fucked Fletcher's ma. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. He'd make a stuffed bird laugh. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed them myself. <laughs> God, I love the pan, huh? I can't smell any chamomile. So then, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh, how's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, or Grandier. What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the taverns who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey? Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girl sizes. <laughs> oh, well, how did you get yours then? All right, I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry, there will be plunder. We're here to fight, and to the victor, the spoils. And so it's always been, but no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Something going on over there. Let's go! Behind me and keep your eyes peeled. Yeah! Oh, let's go then. Love it when my horse is faster than everyone else's. What do you think we can expect this time, fellas? Groshen, hidden in a piss pot under the bed. A nice chunk of beef. No one there will be. On account of it'd just fall out through the holes in their bellies, eh, brother? <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is already watering, brother. And I ain't even touched a purse yet. Once you get your hands on some loot, I'll be happy. Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Futility and human suffering, like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leaf out of Stone's book and shut the fuck up? <laughs> Jesus, I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. Someone hiding out here still. Look for clues. 
Rangers and question the survivors. If there are any. Mm. All right, let's have a little butchers. Is he dead or? Fast. God Almighty. Oh, they can't be all that clever or they'd have taken the wagon. They weren't even armed. Jesus Christ, what a massacre. No signs of resistance. They simply slaughtered them like animals. Well, poor wretch. Oh. Kuno will want to know about this. Message for Sir Radsick. Let's see how play your script is based on Okay then. So Hagen Soul. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that, Chris. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot, God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened. What do you know about these Zuls? <laughs> A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I have no idea. I thought I could go and search for those raiders. They might not have gotten very far yet. All right. It's always good to have an extra pair of eyes. We'll keep searching here for a while, and then head back to the camp. I don't think there would be anything else, would there? Nah. Alright, well, it might be worth... So, going back to Sir Radzig. Question is, will Sir Radzig even entertain the idea of a duel, or are we gonna, or am I gonna fight on his behalf? So yeah, let's go see what he says when it loads.
I better not get stopped again. It's really pissing me off every time I enter this place. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We came across a burnt-out farm near Merhoyed. Hmm. Toth must have left some of his cronies behind. Well, this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. A tricolour star on a blue field. I know that coat of arms, unfortunately. It's the House of Zul. There was a letter there, too. Show it to me. Although I think I already know what it will say. Here you are, sir. Unscrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anonymous wretch. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Signed, Hagen Zul. As I expected, old grievances coming back to haunt me. Mr. Hagen wants to challenge you to a duel. Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of outmoded solution to disputes. Surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honor? Henry, my boy, honor is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. But in time, you'll learn that some matters are not so straightforward. Like this one? Someone singing in the background. Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last 15 years and become a courtier. Hagen, meanwhile, was fighting in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia and elsewhere as a mercenary. Which of us do you think would win a duel? That's not honor, but an abuse of honor. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying, but I'm not such a fool as to play by his rules. What happened between you and Sir Hagen? That's a long story. Just the well, gist if I'm to know it. what I'm up against, I'll need to hear at least the gist of it. True. All right, in a nutshell. Several years ago, I had to resolve a bloody feud between the Zuls and another family. The Zuls were clearly in the wrong, but refused to accept my ruling. So, I hanged the head of the family raised their castle to the ground, and confiscated their property. Ever since then, they've had it in for me, not surprisingly. But you acted in good conscience. Yes, although in retrospect it might seem excessively harsh. And it doesn't help that the other family is related to mine. Well, what are we going to do about this? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts, the greater the chances that I'll finally have to succumb to his conditions. So you'd fight him, if it came to that? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's coin he's after. Who knows? All right. We'll deal with him, sir. I'm sure you will, Henry. God be with you. Okay. Where's his encampment now? Is it in the same spot? Yeah. yeah. You know what guys, we'll just ride there. So obviously it's going to come to a point where we are going to actually fight him.
It doesn't take too long to get there, you know what I mean? Oh, fucking bushes on this game. Always get caught in bushes. See anyone here? Apparently, I've got a key for that. Well, I don't even know where the guy is. We've just got to skip some time again. So I'm just gonna have to wait till the morning now. Yeah? Absolute joke. Been to see Sir Radzik. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. If I had any. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. That's really off putting There's nothing else for it. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north. And then carry on via Ujits. Sure. Mount up then, and let's go. Band of bastards. Uninvited guests. So we're probably going to run into them this time. Oh, 
Oh, cutscene. Ah. Please, can we stop for a bit? My ass is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Sign help. Help! Let's go. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... The... You've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah. I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. I <laughs> <laughs> about to convince him to go. You know, yeah. the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. You promised Sir Radzig you protect his fiefdom, and that means his subjects too. Come on, it's not like their lives are in any real danger. Hagen's men just want a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Are you fucking serious? You know very well, Kuno, how innocent girls can end up after a bit of fun with animals like that. Well, I for one am not going to sit back and let it happen, even if I have to creep in there myself and try to rescue them. Oh, all right. It's not the smartest thing to do. But let's go and tackle those fuckers, if that's how you want it. Good. Thanks. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go! Who wants their back covered? My right arm is stiff since last night. Cover that side for me. It's all in the wrist, Dangler. And best to take off your horse. Wouldn't it be better to ride down the horses? To tackle. I'll watch your right side then, yeah? I don't want to go in there alone, but they're taking so long. A foretaste what we'll do with the liquid loot we take from the bow. Shit. I wanted to charge them with a terrifying roar. They'll be
Only taking what's worth taking. Hopefully my horse can carry all this. Anymore. Think you can shake me or not? Be a lot of good stuff to sell later. Left us some damn good booze here. As my old man used to say, the fire of battle must be quenched. Of course, the only battle he was ever in was with Ma. But still, it fits. Anyway, I hope you'll drink with us. Sure. Why look a gift horse in the mouth? My words exactly. Me and the lads were just saying how we know nothing about you. Most of the folk around here have hardly been further than the village market. But you must have seen a thing or two. <laughs> have you heard of Sir Hans Capon? I heard his name mentioned in Colleen. 
in connection with some wenches, I recall. A young dandy, eh? Yeah, that's him. He's going to inherit Ratai once he comes of age. I run some errands for him now and again. Well, once we were at the baths together, and his lordship wanted to seduce one of the bathmaids. Naturally, that's what the baths are for, among other things. Yeah, but with Sir Hans, nothing is ever straightforward. First, I had to play strip dice. <laughs> that's good. Did you win? <laughs> I did, but I had to strip myself anyway to get into the tub. Only, no sooner had I done so, than his lordship demanded wine from the castle cellars, which is a long fucking way from there. I reckon you're a man who can't resist a challenge. <laughs> if I'd been sober. I went all the way there and back in my undergarments, and no sooner was I back than he sent me to pick flowers for the girl from the castle gardens. <laughs> it's starting to sound like a fairy tale with three wishes. Well, actually, he probably did have a third wish, but he didn't get a chance to say it. How's that? Well, I got back only to find the girl's sweetheart, some guard called Arsenballs, well, that's what Sir Hans called him, trying to drown him in the bath. <laughs> drown a nobleman over a wench. That's balls all right. Well, Sir Hans was naked and drunk, so he didn't look very noble. <laughs> anyway, I tackled this fella and saved Sir Hans from him. It could have all got out of hand, but it ended with only a few bruises. Sir Hans never got his way with the girl, though. All that trouble for nothing. <laughs> Tell us another. How I preached. I was trying to track down these bandits who raided the Neuhof stud farm, and the trail led to Ujitz. I made the acquaintance of the parish priest there. Oh, I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he's quite a character. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. But he does keep his word, and he sure knows how to drink. A typical man of the cloth, eh? I don't know about other priests, but Godwin can booze like a master. So we ended up in the local tavern. What can I tell you? Wine, women and song, you know how it goes. Well, we lost track of time a little, and then the bailiff came barging in and tells us it's past curfew and we're to clear out. Was he on his own? No, he had some men with him. I'm not sure how many. It's all a little blurry. Anyway, we explained to him politely that we had no intention of ending our enjoyment. So, after a bit of discussion with the bailiff, we carried on. Next morning, Godwin was as green as a frog and hardly able to walk. And then he realised he had to say mass. <laughs> That's a show I'd like to see. <laughs> well, he couldn't do it. So he got me to preach the sermon. You? Preaching? You're joking. <laughs> well, I did my best. Of course, I wasn't in great shape myself, so I'm not sure what the flock made of it. <laughs> my word, you're a dark horse. Tell us another. Uh, right. Do you know Talmberg? Oh, yeah, I do. It's that castle on the hill, not far from here. That's right. Sir Divish is the lord there. You might have heard he was locked up in his own castle for seven years by another lord he had some dispute with. I remember hearing something about that. How did he get out? His wife, Lady Stephanie, managed to get justice for him in the end with the help of the provincial council. Right. But I thought you were going to tell us something about yourself, Henry. I'm getting there. It's to do with the young lady, Stephanie. She took a liking to me and asked me to help her get some things for her cousin's wedding, which I did. And she was very, very grateful. So the lady was nice to you. That's a charming story. Not exactly bard material. No, you don't get it, Kuno. She was very grateful. What are you... Never! You and the lady of the castle! <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a surprise for me, too. Are you mad? Did it cross your mind what her husband could do? No, I suppose. But I was caught up in the moment. Jesus, Henry! Let me give you a word of advice. We're not from here, so it doesn't matter much. But I wouldn't go telling that story around these parts. Of course not, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, nice that's a good point. Let's just drink. Seven tankers of ale and a bottle of spirits. Oh. Alright. 
So I've just been left alone. Here, really? What a load of bullshit that is. And I'm half pissed up. Come on, that's unbelievable. They wouldn't have left me here by myself. Right guys, I'm actually going to leave it there. So next time we will uh, meet up for the next mission. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, um, take care everyone. Yeah, cheers guys. See you next time. Thank you.